Yo, time to teach you how to create your own digital collectibles. So we will use the just launched Atomic Asset Platform with their Atomic Hub, which is a marketplace, but it's much more than that. So what we will do here is we will use their new NFT creator. But first, let's just walk through this page. First, I will try to zoom out, zoom in a bit so you can easily see how this works. So here we have some assets that we can go through. Uh, in the new sales and then we have newly created assets these are ones that i just created to test this out uh, let's go here and we go to the the market we'll have all the markets and uh, i'm pretty scrolled in i have this set to 175 percent so it's a huge scroll in uh, we go to the nft creator here we have my collections which is uh every collection that i have a collection is actually if you go in here you will see that this has a display name it has my name and url we have the description and we have a market fee this is standard settings for my collection so to speak so my collection is is uh, uh, with annio.block1 so what i want to do for you you want to create a new collection so first thing first you want to add a collection photo of collection photo can be anything i'm just gonna add this one and then we have the collection name here which is 12 characters that this is your account name i can add your display name uh, which should be uh, any observation which i use and then we have this one and then we have the collection description which would be whatever you add here and then we have a market fee and then you just hit create collection Right now it says that this name is used and that is because I'm already using this name for my other collection here. So if you go into your collection you will see that you have created this, everything works. Then you have these schemas. Schemas you can go down and you can see photographs. This is what I've created already. What you need to do is create a new schema. A schema is a preset for your NFTs. You can have multiple of them in one collection. So here you have these uh, characters. I, I wrote photographs because this is what I will use for my uh, for, for these settings is that I have taken photos that I when I've been traveling and I will uh, add them here if I think they are good enough. So photographs. And then I have this name attribute on my NFT with this which is text. I have an image, which is, which is an IPFS hash. IPFS is a decentralized storage. Uh, so the pink guys will actually take the photo I upload. They will send it out to IPFS and it's on a lot of different places in all over the world. So, you, uh, so if one go down, your, your image is still uploaded and it will show on your NFT. And if I want here, I can add a new uh, attribute, which perhaps is an info field. Info field is text. And then I'm done and I just uh, go out and I hit create schema. Now I can't do that because I have no name, but I've already done this. So I go down to photograph. I have this name, it's a text. I have this image, it's a hash. I have this info, it's a text. Looks correct. Uh, and here I can see that I have already done a few. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see something called templates. So if I go into create template, I can set an image. I can set the max supply. So perhaps I just want to be able to create 10 of these. And I will create this one. This is me re relaxing in Tiantan, which is a temple of heaven in Beijing. This asset can be transferred. It can be burned. It has this text field. Uh, relaxing in Tiantan. Photograph taken by Kim okay and I hit create template and now on my I see this uh, pop-up from scatter because I'm, I'm using scatter for this to be able to use my my ledger with that I have I say allow I see confirm transaction everything looked okay and I see su successful transaction cool so now I have created a template you don't have to use a template, but I just wanted to show how this works. So I can see now that I have a relaxing Tiantan. So now I want to mint a new asset. You could do this directly, but here instead I'm going to use this, which is my Tiantan. I see I have this uh, photograph taken in here directly. I see the relaxing in Tiantan. It's using the same image. The positive thing about the uh, template is that the template will actually uh, they will actually filter it so they, you can easily see how much this has been sold um, earlier so I will use this annual.block1 and now 
I have this maximum set as 10, but I just want to create one today. So I'm creating one, I'm creating an asset. So there will only be one. Right now we can't see this image. That is because IPFS is a bit slow. So don't worry if you can't see it. You already know here that it exists. It is correct. It may take a few minutes until you actually see it uh, in the NFT. That is perfectly fine. I can see this that Offright Minter is my account. Collection name, correct. In the photograph, everything looks, everything looks okay. So I hit allow. I take my ledger. I take confirm transaction. And let's see successful collection anyone anyone any old dot block block one has issued an nft for you okay so i got an nft on my account now i go to my account i go to inventory and this is the new nft and after a while they will look like this so these are photographs that i've taken if you've seen this in uh no this one in my videos is because i have it on the wall behind me there above the bear that usually be usually is there so this is the uh, the asset uh, and I can here create a sale where I can put it up for uh, an amount of wax if I want and I can see the fees that are are taken here. But what I want to do now is I want to head over to trading and here I can do some different things. I can create a new trade offer with someone but I want to go to shared links. I want to create a link here. I want to add a memo uh, love from Anders. So this is my memo and here I want to create, uh, I want to take this, let's take this one, the one behind me because that, that one you may have seen before. And I will actually generate a link here and I will say love from Anders, yes I want to do this. I say allow here and I confirm transaction and I see that this is one action and it is two actions and I confirm both of them. Dun, 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 and then we see here, this is the link. And this link, I will actually not share it, but if you pause the video, you copy this, the first one that does it will be able to claim this, uh, claim this asset and then it's in your account. So that's perfect, but I'm not going to share it more than that. So it's up to you to find it. So this is everything that you need to know to create an asset. And now we see here that my image has actually gotten here from the IPFS. Everything works fine. I'm relax relaxing in the Tiantan area in China. And if you want this, I will actually put it up for sale. And I, I don't think a lot of people want this. So, But I, I know I'm, I'm worth a lot of money. So I'm worth at least 1,337. Yes. Confirm. I want to list this for this. I hit allow. I confirm transaction. Yes, this is what I want to do. Confirm, confirm, close. And what happens if I now go to the market? I see that it is here. You can relax in Tiantan with me. So that is that is that is it for me today. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you learn how to create your own digital collectibles. And please, let's create this and make it fun, entertaining, and awesome.